Thank you, Mayor. And just a couple of announcements. On Tuesday, uh, October 16th, which was on yesterday, I had the opportunity to join UNEP Parker as well as Councilmember Jack Christie for the Odebrecht um, Awards for Sustainable Development and starting at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, last night, it was a wonderful uh, event and it was joined by all. And I left out before I found out who the winner was, but I'm sure uh, that I also was Rice right University who won last night. All right. Congratulations, Mayor. I know you made that proud announcement on last night that you had your pick. So probably that's what did it. I think you persuaded the vote on last night when you were there. Um, on Thursday, October 18th, we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Hope Clinic Luncheon. Hope Clinic presents uh, health care to all residents of Southwest Houston, regardless of the ability to pay. So I'll be celebrating with them and as well on Thursday. I'll be joining the Foster Elementary School um, for a home makeover uh, on the Lights After School program. So I'll be with Foster Elementary on this coming Thursday. On Friday, October the 19th, the Japanese Garden is hosting a ceremonial tree planting with Yoro Yamato, Consul General of Japan, and I'll be joining Mayor Parker um, at that event on this coming Friday. And that's in uh, Herman Park, for those of you who want to know the Japanese Garden is located. On Saturday, October 20th, I'll be celebrating the 53rd anniversary with the Montefiore Baptist Church, and I look forward to celebrating with them on this weekend. And as well, I'll be attending the 2012 Girly Girls Stepping Forward Conference. The conference every year is hosted by the Harris County Juvenile Probation Department and Colonia Women's Society, focused on self-empowerment, education, and job readiness. Also, on this coming Saturday, many of you talked about uh, Michael Williams. Um, his wife, Yolanda Williams, passed away about a year ago. And she passed away of breast, breast cancer. And he started the Yolanda E. Williams Foundation Breast Cancer uh, Awareness, the Walk of Hope. So there will be a breast cancer walk on Saturday, October 20th, uh, starting at the Center of Hope at 3015 North McGregor Way, Houston, Texas. Uh, there is a donation of $20, 7 a.m. registration, 8 a.m. program, and 8.20 the walk will begin. So those of you who are interested in participating in the walk, and that's at the Good Hope Church, on Saturday morning. And also just asking you to save the day as we continue to celebrate uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month to support the fight against breast cancer. Um, the honorary chair of the October 29th Sisters Network Walk for Breast, breast Cancer. And this will take place at the Sunnyside Park. And another announcement, um, a week ago I had the opportunity to attend the NAGDA conference which the, the National Association of Government Defining Contribution uh, Administration. And uh, attending this conference, just want to continue to remind everyone about their retirement plan. In City of Houston employees, I'm encouraging you, if you have any questions about your retirement plan, to contact the benefits office if you need to make increases, or look how your money's been spent, make sure that your beneficiaries are lining up. So it's very important that we save. We'll be celebrating um, free week next week for Save for Retirement Week, which began on next Monday. And there are a couple of workshops uh, that's available. And also I want to say congratulations to the city of Houston um, for winning an award, a national award, at the conference for their leadership and for the free summit that they hosted on last week, at educating uh, the public as well as our employees about retirement. And in closing, I also want to give my condolences to Senator Gallegos. And I just want to just read this scripture. Not only just those of Senator's family that are suffering some type of loss, but there may be other family members that are suffering a type of loss. And I just want to share this scripture of comfort with you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of sympathy, and the God who is the source of every comfort, uh, who comforts, consoles us in every trouble, uh, so that we may be able to comfort those and encourage those who may be in kind of trouble or distress due to um, a loss of any loved one with this particular comfort. comfort with which we ourselves are confident. Again, that's found in 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4. As we continue to mourn the loss of Senator Gallegos and his family, as we continue to keep his family in prayer, and his wife and his children in prayer, and his constituents as well. And so many of us, like Councilman Norea, said that our elected officials, we are a value source, and we want to continue to serve you. So as the family said, as in their privacy and things like that, but it doesn't take us take much for us to get on our knees and just say a prayer of comfort for the family as they continue to do so do the homeborn celebration of our center. Thank you.